to Garn. And Garn now is going to be brought down on tackle number three for the Bulls. Fasel, out of dummy half, tries to muscle away over, but Bullman and Dunn there, great defence. Early doors from Featherston. And there's going to be an early try here for the Bradford Bulls. Maroney picks it up from dummy half. And Kirsty Maroney, captain fantastic for the Bradford Bulls, gets the opening score. And she's brought down on the halfway line on tackle number three for the Bradford Bulls women's side. For Selden to Garner. Garner gives it there to Stavely. And Stavely's going to be brought down. Ten inside the Featherstone Rovers half as it goes from Fussell, Fussell with a break, she's got Bullman to beat, Lewis Fussell is going to show and go around and underneath the sticks, well we mentioned she got a hat trick against Featherstone Rovers, last time out against Featherstone, and she's suffocating Bradford Bulls defenders, incessant pressure though, on the Bradford line, they're throwing everything at Featherstone, it goes out to Roach, Roach steps in one, steps in two, Roach is underneath the sticks, and Georgia Roach, what an individual try that was, the referee points the finger, Nigel Watt. the Featherstone defence, but she can't, she's 20 out from the Featherstone Rovers line as the pass comes out towards Savannah Andre, the 18 year old, she's still moving forward, twisting and turning, can't offload the ball in the tackle. And on tackle number four, she's brought down five out from the line. They're going to try and squeeze in at the corner with Hardcastle. Hardcastle's put the ball down, but it's short of the line. In the act of scoring there, Amy Hardcastle. And this is tackle number four coming up for the Bradford Bulls. For Sell to Maroney. Maroney kicks towards this Maidstad touchline. Savannah Andrade is chasing it, but Sarah Dunn to the rescue. Sarah Dunn's lost the ball. Savannah Andrade's going to claim a try there. The referee has a decision to make. Sarah Dunn clearly lost the ball forward, but the touch judge has stood his ground. I don't think this is going to be given. The referee still in consultation with the touch judge. And they're going to say Sarah Dunn was grounded in the in-goal area first. He's uh, looking to make a decision. He's going to rule the try out. And he's going to go with what I thought happened. That victory, should it occur this afternoon, would cap off a fantastic season. And it would be just what the girls deserve. As we said, Bradford coming into this game. 11 wins, no defeats. And we might see the third try of the afternoon here for the Bradford Bulls. Just getting there in the corner is Charlotte Booth, the England international. It was a valiant chase back there by Kayleigh Bowman, and she's gone on as Perla, 60 metres there, skirting down this midstand side. And Charlotte Booth gives Bradford a decisive score. In at dummy half, Booth gets to her feet. She's already scored an absolute pearl, a scintillator in the first half. Here goes Shona Hoyle now from dummy half. The two 11s meet. Five out underneath the shadow of the Featherstone Rover sticks. Hoyle gets to her feet, she plays the ball, it goes to Garner. Garner drops the shoulder, and Claire Garner slides over the line. And Bradford have a fourth try at the start of the second half. Seven minutes gone on the clock. Kirsty Marona, time back on. We'll get up, plays the ball. Here we go, back down the middle. As Bradford looking to add a fifth try to their tally. Fasel out of dummy half to Maroney. Maroney looking for a second. Maroney's over the line. The touch judges have stood his ground, and the referee is going to say no Screw. try. Garner. Fasel. Booth goes on the angle, strides up, straightens up. Five inside the Featherstone half. Fasel in at dummy half. To Hardcastle on that right hand edge. Hardcastle puts a fending. On Don and Amy, Hardcastle's away now. Hardcastle has Bullman to beat. She's going to put a fending on Kayleigh Bullman. And she's done a Jonah Lomu here at the Manchester Regional Arena. That was unstoppable. And Bradford have a fifth try. She's it's in the... a shy of the line. Bradford 
Unstoppable pressure on this Featherstone Rovers line. There's a charge to the line there from Beth Sutcliffe, and she's now held up for Sellers options to the left, to the right. It's on the last tackle, the power play for the Bulls. They lead 26 points to six. Charlene Garner. Garner gets it out to Cortman, and Cortman's going to see Charlene Hennigan score. That was an unselfish act there by Jess Cortman. Bradford there on the slippery surface, wriggling around like a worm in dirt. Somehow gets it out to Dobson as Dobson's bullet pass is going to find Bowman, and Bowman reaches out in the corner for a Featherstone Rovers try, but the referee is going to this 32 points to six the lead they haven't had it all their own way in this grand final the first half for 20 minutes in the middle it was 12-6 as Featherston really tried to put a squeeze on Bradford for sell then as she dummied away over the referee says no the supporters think she's got there but she's going to be told to get up and play the ball Maroney now at dummy half it goes to Hardcastle Hardcastle out in the corner. Savannah Andre, the 18-year-old, has she touched down in the corner? The referee points the finger. Joyous scenes. The Bradford Bulls interchange players. The racing on the field. Get a try. Make the scoreline a little bit respectable. But whatever happens, they have certainly played their part in a great Super League final. Dobson. Floats the ball out, over on this main stand side. Featherstone with Kayleigh Bullman. She steps in, can't get past Hoyle. Hoyle brings her down, 12 out from that Bradford Bulls try line. For selling at dummy half to Dobson. Dobson tries to show and go, juggles with the ball. Lays it off there to Sinead Peach. Peach is held up on top of the Bradford line, but the referee is going to say Sinead Peach was caught high and Peach is trying to go for a quick tap. The referee gives the penalty mark, penalty count now, 8-3. It's going to be tapped by Peach. Here goes Grace Field. She's a big lass, can she get over? No, she can't. It goes out to Dobson. Dobson, a short pass. The ball's been lost on the try line. Charlotte Booth kicks it dead. All eyes on the referee. He puts whistle to lips. The Bradford Bulls. They've done the Challenge Cup and Super League double. They're the inaugural winners of the 2017 Super League Grand Final. And look what it means. 11 games undefeated. The perfect season for Mark Prescott and the Bradford Bulls.